Hey guys, what's up, it's Josh. So for today's video, as you guys can see by the title, I wanted to talk about five different ways you can text the guy that you like and tell him that you like him. I think that one of the most common ways of actually showing somebody or telling somebody that you like them nowadays is actually over text. But sometimes I think that it can be hard to like actually figure out when are the right times to text them and what to text them. And today's video, I wanted to do like a little bit differently and kind of base it around like a scenario. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. But with that being said, here are five different ways to text the guy that you like and tell them that you like them. All right, so the first one that I came up with, and I think that this is gonna be more of like going through a scenario more than just like giving you guys points, because I feel like this scenario, a lot of you guys are gonna be able to relate to. So the first way that I think you can like actually get the conversation going in that direction of telling him that you like him is to text him and ask him, which is his favorite coffee shop or where does he usually go to get coffee? If you don't text this person all the time, this is a great way in order to get onto their phone and into their text just by asking them a simple question. So once you're in there and you've asked them that question, Kind of text back and forth for a little bit, but don't go too far. Kind of just leave it at that. So the second thing that you need to do is after you actually find out which is his favorite coffee shop or where he goes, go to that coffee shop and get a coffee or get a hot chocolate or get something that you like. The reason that I think that you need to do this is because after you actually go there and experience it, the next text that you're actually gonna send him like that day or a couple of days later is telling him what you thought of that place. This usually works out a little bit better if the place that you go to, you actually like. <laughs> but regardless, like whether you liked it or not, you can send him a text like a couple days later and just tell him, what you thought of the place, what you thought of the drinks. Like if you've never been there before, kind of spark up a conversation and talk to him about it. He's gonna start like piecing things together in his head and he's gonna start realizing that you're listening to what he's saying. So you guys can kind of see that like this is going in order. <laughs> but the third point that I came up with is once it's like a couple days later, send him another text and ask him which is the drink that he usually gets from that coffee shop. The reason that you need to do this is because now you're making it really personal to the point where like you're wanting to try things that he's interested in. So even if he sends you a text and he tells you that like he gets a drink that you don't really like or one that you've never tried before, what you can do is go in there and actually get that drink or whatever it is and take a picture of it. This makes for like more material that you would be able to like send him as a text but it's also a good way in order to like show somebody that you're willing to try new things and you're out there trying to just experience stuff that you've never done before so yeah try to get something that he gets so that you can take a picture of it and then yeah don't just keep the picture you have to send it to him <laughs> So after you've done this, however long it's taken, maybe like a week or whatever it is, I think that the last thing you need to do is actually text them and set up a time to go there together. Now you might not want to word it as like you guys going on a date. Maybe it's just like you want to go and like do homework or go and hang out and do something like that. I think that that's kind of a way that you can indirectly tell them that you like them and you want to hang out with them. Playing off of that little inside thing that you guys have now of like him telling you about the coffee shop or something. So I don't really know like if this even makes sense or not but I think that little scenarios like this can kind of help in a way of just being able to text that person and tell them how you feel and you don't have to just like outright just tell them hey I like you you can kind of go around it and do little things like this where you're not directly telling them you're just like wanting to set up a time to hang out with them and it makes it a little bit easier if you do have a little bit of like an inside story or like an inside joke with that person so yeah those are the five different things kind of like in order that I think you could try and if you guys do do it let me know in the comments or if you've ever been into a coffee shop with your crush, let us know how it went down below. Also, I've been reading the comments on my previous video about the hairstyles that guys love on girls, and it turns out that I think it's really hard to make a messy bun. <laughs> I don't really know, I just saw all the comments, but whatever you think, go let me know on that other video. But I think that I'm gonna do a part two of that as well, because you guys loved it. So the 850,000 subscriber sale is still going on right now, so if you wanna get some devoted merch, you can go and get it. I'm wearing the hat right now, and I love it. I love you guys so much, and I will see you next Saturday and next week's video. Bye! <laughs>